Hello and welcome to the Psalmoday Daily Devotion with me, Pastor Chris Mathis, from Epiphany Lutheran Church in Castle Rock, Colorado. Today our psalm is Psalm 144 in the English Standard Version, Psalm 144. Of David, Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. O Lord, what is man that you regard him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Flash forth the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hand of foreigners, whose mouths speak lies and whose right hand is the right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Upon a ten-stringed harp I will play to you, who gives victory to kings, who rescues David his servant from the cruel sword. Rescue me, and deliver me from the hand of foreigners, whose mouths speak lies and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. May our sons in their youth be like plants full grown, our daughters like corner pillars cut for the structure of a palace. May our granaries be full providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. May there be no distress, no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I want to focus on the first verse of our psalm today, which says, Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Throughout the history of the church, there have been groups and individuals who have uh, been proponents of pacifism and have even suggested that perhaps serving in government or um, serving in the military is evil and wicked, um, that it is against God's uh, command to preserve life and to not murder. But in fact, the scriptures are quite clear that properly, proper legal execution is not uh, the same thing as murder. And in fact, God even commands capital punishment for murder in Genesis chapter 9 where he says that whoever uh, that whoever uh, kills by the sword shall be killed by the sword in addition we see here that David says it's actually the Lord who trains his hands to be able to um, wage war that in fact as a soldier his gifts in combat are from the Lord his talents his skill his abilities he glorifies God for that. In Luke chapter 3, when some soldiers came to John the Baptist in response to his baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins and telling people to repent and make straight the ways of the Lord, some soldiers also asked him, And we, what shall we do? And he said to them, Do not extort money from anyone by threats or by false accusation. And be content with your wages. So John the Baptist, the prophet, did not tell the soldiers to stop being soldiers, but rather he told them to be content with their pay and to not abuse power in their position. Likewise, in Romans 13, we hear that the government is God's minister, his servant, to do us good, to punish evildoers, and that he does not bear the sword for nothing. So the bearing of the sword, um, whether it's the courts, the legislature, the executive branch, um, law enforcement, police, or the military, 
Remember, keep in mind that back in the ancient world, there wasn't really a, a police force separate from the military. These are godly callings and vocations. And we are called to submit to such authorities as long as they are not commanding us to do evil or to do things that are in conflict with, with God's will, which would be evil. And indeed, uh, we should pray for our military and for our law enforcement and show honor and respect for them. And yes, hold them accountable when they do abuse their power or are discontent with their wages, as it says in uh, uh, John's words to them uh, in Luke chapter 3, verse 14. Um, and certainly, um, governments and government agencies and agents are capable of abusive power and misusing their position to hurt and harm others. But at the same time, those that um, do right in their office, uh, we should uphold and give them proper honor. As it says in Romans 13, give taxes to whom taxes are due, revenue to whom revenue is due, and honor to whom honor is due. So think about that, and um, we'll see you next time for Psalm 146. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in for the Psalm a Day Daily Devotion. If you have been blessed by this message and ministry, please be sure to leave a note or a question in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much, and may God bless you each and every day through Jesus Christ and his wonderful word.